What's up fools? How's it going? Today I'm gonna show you how you can make a sci-fi short film like I did last week and how you can invite Elon Musk himself and how to make a great piece of cinema like this. I'm Phil and welcome to another video. I'm sure you have a bunch of questions and I try to answer most of them in the video. But if you have any questions besides that, just drop them down in the comments below. Speaking of which, like the video and subscribe so this video gets pushed in the world, in outer space. This short film was kind of nine months in the making. Uh, it took me a very long time to figure out how to make it. And so, you know, I, I need a good computer to actually make all those animations. And today I want to break down a little bit how I did it. But in case you haven't seen it, you can watch the entire short film here. Anyways, let's get started. To shoot a short film like this, you obviously need an idea first and then also a script. We did have an idea, we did not have a script, but we, what we did have was two cameras. So what I did was like setting up two cameras in front of one green screen and shoot one person per camera. So basically what we could do is just improv the entire scene a couple of times until I got all the lines I needed. So El Hajj was sitting to the left, I was sitting to the right. We both looked straight into the camera and our camera, he had a different one. And that way we didn't need a script, we didn't, didn't need to learn a script, we didn't need to write a script. That way I saved a bunch of time. Is it worse now? Probably is could have been a way better, probably not. So 80-20 rule, we got it done. We used two Sony A7 I think yeah, back then we used the a7 III now I upgrade to 7s3 and the FX3 all those cameras you can find in the description below if you want to check them out we were using the Rode shotgun mic and the Sony shotgun mic all of this equipment is down in the description if you're interested. So besides the interior inside the helmet shots, I also needed like an exterior, like a medium shot. And for that, I used Aramis Merlin. He was uh, in my motorcycle jacket, motorcycle helmet. And I just told him, I gave him different directions. Can you point this way? And can you pretend to not know what I'm talking about? Can you pretending having a conversation? So he was like doing all those body movements. I shot in front of a green screen having like a few lights next to him to make it look like okay he's in an actual cockpit of a, like a spaceship and then you know i just built the interior in after effects how did i do that i just used a google image of a cockpit put it behind him put a few lens flares in front of him to make it look like it's legit color grade this entire thing in three different colors one in pink one in red one in blue for three different characters and then it was done and now you might think how did you get elon musk in your short film well that was pretty easy first of all i called him then he came and then nothing of that happened he doesn't know that he's in a short film because I was using Saturday Night Live footage. When he was in Saturday Night Live, on his interview part, he had like a blue wall behind him. So I could use this blue wall as a blue screen and I could actually use his footage in my video. Is it fully legal? No. Is it illegal? I don't think so. Anyways, that, that's how I could put him in my film without anybody asking any questions. And then I, of course, needed the Tesla Cybertruck. I needed the spaceships. I needed all of that in 3D. How did I make those? I didn't. I went on Turbo Squid. I downloaded most of the assets and I put them in Blender, which is also for free. You can download Blender for free and build a scene like this yourself for zero money. Little pro tip though. Download Blender through Steam. That way you don't have to look out for updates. Anyways, when you have all this in your computer, then you just put it all in there in your scene, have a camera, set up the lighting and try to make it pretty because that's the issue. If you don't spend any money on those assets of spaceships and so on, they are kind of low poly, low detail. 
and there's but there's ways how you can make it prettier and for that i'm going to ask matt real quick because he did that for me to be honest i'm not that experienced with 3d animation he is so let's ask him real quick hey matt uh how did you make those spaceships for my short film how did you make those pretty oh hey didn't, <laughs> didn't see you there because those asses were kind of shitty so uh, how, how do you make a scene like this look good um well, you can just hide all the all the shittiness in like the lighting, you know. Especially in the space scene, it's all darkness basically. So if you just light it and stage it, nobody's gonna ask any questions. How, how do you light it? Well, I mean, like it's a space scene, right? It's basically one strong main light source and no bounce light from space because there is no atmosphere, right? Especially when it was, like this, the way we set up the sun was like it was like rim lit, so like. Most of the, the spaceship that you see is just black, you know. And wherever it's not black, it's so bright that you can't even see any detail, you know. And um, also, like we added like a roughness map to the to the surface to just make it a little imperfect and make it look bigger than you know what it is. Because like the, the model itself, like no hate, but the the like all the details were like too big. So it made it look like it was like a small toy, like all the cut lines were really thick. Yeah, so like they're just adding like a, like another layer of like the what was it uh, the roughness map, just to just added smaller details so that the rest look bigger. So roughness map means uh, like those scratches and all that stuff. Yeah, so the roughness map is like uh, it's information that differentiates like what's shiny and what's and what's not shiny, right? So in, in, in like anything in between. If I remember correctly, the, the regular surface was like like a, a semi-matte, like brushed aluminum kind of shininess. And the scratches, I think we made them like very, very uh, not shiny, so very matte. So like they didn't reflect any of the light, I think. Thank you. Can I have my beanie back? No. Come on, man. And apart from those spaceships, I also needed earth. At first I built like a sphere and then I put like an earth picture on top of it, but that just didn't look right. So then we came up with a better plan just to use a Google image, put this on a flat surface, put it somewhere in the background because if it's like so far away in space, you don't even see if it's a sphere or just a picture. So it was just a flat image and that worked perfectly. And don't be afraid of using Google images or like images in general to do these things. Like the entire interior background was a few Google images from like airplane cockpits. So I didn't make anything from scratch. I just put a bunch of stuff, color graded it and just to make sure it kind of fits the scene. It looks like it's actually there. So this is the entire making of breakdown. Uh, in the end, I spent nine months on it. I don't think I spent any money, money on it. I obviously spent money on those cameras, but it does look like a high budget production and that's what it was about. Um, so thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something. If you have any question to any of those things, just let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, like the video and subscribe.